then who am I to deny my body of hydration? It is what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. We missed autumn, didn't we? Coffee, hazelnut syrup, oat milk. Thank me later. Good morning, gang. Tash and I are out shooting. Um, we haven't done it in a little while, so we thought we'd have a little shoot day. I'm trying to put some lip gloss on at the same time. But um, we're having a bit of a mare because neither of us can really be bothered. But Clever Little Peach starts a new job in a couple of weeks, so we're trying to get as many shoot days in as we can before she starts her new job. I'm trying to see everything odds. My hair is annoying me as well. Like, why is my hair so flicky? <sighs> Gang. <laughs> all, our, <laughs> all our IKEA bags are stuffed in the back. But um we're we're doing it. We're shooting. We haven't had our sugar fix yet, but I think should we stop on the high street outside that good coffee place and then yeah. carry on? We found a coffee maybe we, did we put it in the vlog? I feel like we put it in the vlog. But um we found a really good coffee place a couple of months ago and there's like three specific coffee places where we shoot and like one of them is really good the woman's lovely we're determined to make her know our names because she's just really sweet and it's this one and then um there's another one that does like unbelievable cake like thick chunky homemade cake and oh my god it's so good so i think we're gonna go there i got a peanut flapjack last time you got a lemon drizzle cake was it last time you got a lemon drizzle and then we went somewhere else and both had lemon drizzle yeah, I can't remember where it was the other one on the high street yeah but top tier so i think we might we might do that and get some goodness in our bellies some sugar to get us through the last three outfits yeah. we've done three so we are powering through and we're doing quite well so far when we shoot content we never look back at the pictures until we get home because i find and i think you do this as well yeah, if it. you look through you hate it yep. whereas if you don't look till you get home you're like well these are the best of a bad bunch but actually they end up you quite like them yeah. like we've got pictures we shot years ago and i look back and i'm like they're the best pictures we ever did but i think at the time we didn't like them yeah, we hated them when we did it. We were like, oh, the light was really crap. But actually, they're the best pictures, yeah. so... I mean... It is what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Do, 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 do. But yeah, we haven't done a shoot day in a while. And we're going to be doing one today, we're doing one at the end of this week, and then we're doing two next week as well, because we want to back up the autumn... Well, actually, we're going to back up winter outfits for Instagram before we get to winter, because it's too blooming cold. So we're going to try and do as much as we can. And then we have less to do. This coat's cute. Where's this from? No, look. Is it? Yeah. Look at her coat. It's really nice. Very cute. Mine's from Vinted. This, I was just saying to Tash, this is actually like a men's 2XL. I really wanted a brown leather coat and um, it's a men's 2XL but it's like really lush and it cost me £30. So if you actually want, I might do another updated Vinted shopping um, TikTok because I keep being asked about Vinted finds and stuff. But um, I did do a how to buy, like how to find good secondhand designer. So I'll leave that linked in the cards because that was a good one because I have found some absolute gems quite good prices although it is a lot of work to find like sometimes you find nothing and sometimes you just come across a gem you always find like the good stuff on vintage i don't know how though maybe i just use vinted a lot <laughs> yeah. i do i do i actually do use it like a social media platform mm -hmm. like every now and then i'll just go on vinted and have a browse it's like every time i see you <laughs> log in now. i'm like oh let's have a little look see what we're doing okay. we got the goods i also got a coffee with hazelnut syrup and oat milk and it's literally like a kinder bueno so if you ever want kinder bueno in a drink that's not like a hot chocolate coffee hazelnut syrup oat milk thank me later is it good i've got scarf fibers all in my nose and all in my lips it's so i hate this word moist mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh it's really lemony mm -hmm. mm. we love lemon mm. It's so big. I know. I'm loving life. We're back. Shoot is done. And I am pooped. It's only two o'clock, so we did quite well on timings, but I'm so tired. I need to curl up on the sofa and just get some stuff done. To be honest, I kind of ruled out the whole day. So I'm quite chuffed that we're finished early so that I can actually get some like work bits done on the laptop. So I might try and get some things done now in my dungarees. Well, it's very cold. Still haven't put the heating on. So I maybe need to do that today because I am very, very cold. Me and Tash were in the car and we were like... <laughs> but it's okay. It's good. I'm going to put my heated blanket on, grab myself a cute little warm cup of something, maybe a cup of tea. We have decaf tea bags so that I can have tea all day, every day. 
um, and just curl up on the sofa and get cosy. But I need to put all these clothes away first and foremost. And yeah, let me put you on a time lapse and I'll put everything away. Two parcels just came in the post, so I thought I'd show you what I've got. First up is this, which I actually got from Vinted. This is the Gymshark High Support Sports Bra, and it's basically got, you can't really see because obviously it's dark, but it's got the classic bra fastening on the back and it's fully adjustable. But this is apparently the best running sports bra ever. So I got it on Vinted because I thought Vinted, this was I think 10 or 15 pounds versus getting it on the website and it costing me 40. So I got this one and one other, which I'm still waiting for it to turn up. And the other one's like a, it's kind of like a greeny gray color. And then this is the other thing that turned up, which is from Estee Lauder. And this is the new mascara, which is the Turbo Lash High Powered Volume and Length. Let me get it out and show you what it looks like. So this is the brush that so looks like it's going to be quite a volumized, a volumized mascara, which I'm kind of here for. I'm very excited to give this one a try. I don't even think you can see, but I just spilt Harissa paste all down my lovely dungarees. So I'm a bit annoyed about that, but I'm making an early dinner. The air fryer is being very noisy right now. I'll turn you in a minute but I'm making an early dinner and it's basically like a massive tray bake so I've put oh my god I'm making myself a giant tray bake for lunches this week but for dinner tonight because it's currently 10 to 5 and I'm going swimming with the girls at 8 so I thought I would just make the tray bake early and then it's just done finished I've got it for the week ready to go and I can have it for an early dinner too so it's got sweet potato Sweet potato, cauliflower, tender stem broccoli, parsnips, sprouts, tofu, tomatoes, harissa paste, and then I just chucked in some random spices. But I've made a massive batch, which I'll show you in a minute. And my thought was, using up all the veggies in the fridge, for one, and then second thought was it's also enough food for me to freeze a couple put some in the fridge and then i just don't have to think about lunches for the rest of the week or you know dinners whatever i can just make a few and then the tofu i did a whole block and i'm planning on having half tonight and half tomorrow and then i can obviously just cook that up as and when i need it or put chicken or something in instead depending how i feel so basically a nice and easy dinner because i just i like cozy easy meals at the moment and i also want to use up everything we've got so we bought loads of veggies and we thought we'll just do veggies with various things so I've got chickpeas so I'm gonna make like a little chickpea curry with some bits um, tomorrow I think for dinner because we've got like spinach and stuff that needs using up and rice and bits and then we've got loads of sweet potatoes so I think I might have maybe sweet potatoes with like jacket potatoes and then do like tuna mayo and stuff in them basically just easy quick healthy meals that try and use up as much of the cupboard as possible because every couple of weeks we like to do that and just go through everything because you know sometimes you buy food from the supermarket and then by the time you get to using it you've basically got like all these random little bits here and there where you never got around to making that specific meal or you didn't feel like it so we're just trying to do that and then we've got loads of like it's just we've got everything we've got a bit of everything so I'm going to eat that before the girls get here at about half six so I've got like an hour and a half and I'm going to try and crack on with the rest of my to-do list because I want to edit up all the pictures that we took today. I need to put rosemary oil in my hair. Apparently, not only is it really good to put oil in your hair for hair growth, but it's also really good for just like sealing your hair so that the chlorine doesn't ruin your dye. So I'm going to do that. And then I need to plait it or something as well so that it's not like going everywhere. I like to tie it up and then plait this bit so that it doesn't get matted. And yeah, it's going to be a nice little evening, I think. It's nice to spend time with my friends because I don't really get to see them all that much, but... I need to go finish that piece of uh, lemon drizzle cake. It's calling my name. I'm also gonna have my greens, kind of contradicting having greens with a lemon drizzle cake. I normally take my greens with like coconut water and or some squash, like a tiny, tiny bit of squash. I don't have either. So it's just gonna be water with the greens today, which is fine. Not the nicest tasting in the world, but I'm trying to get back into the habit of having them every single day. So I leave them out on the side and, and then I'm just, having them at whatever point of the day I can. I know you're supposed to have them like first thing in the morning, but to be honest, I never remember. Although I did see a few things online about how you should, if you've got high cortisol, which I think I do, I'm still waiting to do my test. They basically told me to wait until I was like three months post the like salmonella typhoid drama. So I'm still waiting to get that done because that's like 
January I think I can do it. So I don't know for a fact that my cortisol levels are high, but I did see some stuff online and I was like researching and they said that not having coffee for 90 minutes when you wake up apparently helps your cortisol levels throughout the day alongside many other things. So I'm trying to implement the habit of having this first thing in the morning instead of coffee. I need to put my collagen in though and we'll see how that goes with cortisol levels and stuff. But yeah, we'll, we'll try, we don't know. But I need to put the... Uh, I need to put the collagen in. I'm still having this Bare Biology one because I have two tubs of it and it lasts quite a while. And I'll be honest, I do forget quite a lot to have it. So I'm just gonna put some of that in and then that's my nice little pre-dinner drink. Do you know, the mango ones of this actually taste completely fine when you don't have like coconut milk or anything. Coconut water, sorry. I would say the original though, it needs a bit of something because it tastes very earthy. Whereas this one's got that really nice little flavor, but it's basically like, if you've seen it all over TikTok, I actually have had this for so long before it became a TikTok hype. It's basically gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, etc., And it includes a comprehensive and convenient daily serving of 21 nutritious real greens, fiber rich foods and plants, including KSM 66 ashwagandha, which I take ashwagandha pills every single night. Really good for if you are someone who's highly stressed or you struggle sleeping, etc. So good for that. And you basically mix one tablespoon, uh, one teaspoon, sorry, into like a smoothie or whatever. It does say you could add a squeeze of fresh lemon, but I don't have any lemon, but it's got loads of good stuff in it. That's the good stuff. So I recommend I'm gonna finish this and I'll get back to you. Tray bake is burnt. First things first. This needs to be on high. Oh my goodness, guys. We've got the cold in the house. James is so unwell, bless him. He's got the flu that's going around and he's just, he's been bed bound all of yesterday and he's tried to go to work today, but I have a feeling he's gonna end up coming back home because he just can't even speak. He's so unwell. So yesterday I just took the whole day off vlogging because I thought he's feeling really sick and he's at home all day. It's not really fair if I'm just whacking a camera out and being all like cheery and happy and like doing all these things. So we had a little bit of a, chilled one annoyingly i think i've mentioned this but obviously we're doing the whole big well we're doing a big clutter declutter but james doesn't really have that much stuff so it's basically all my stuff that's being decluttered and organized and part of that is we're going to do some slight upgrades to the bedroom so we're getting a new bed a new mattress we've ordered a new bookshelf for the corner like lots of things are going to be moving around within the house so like trying not to buy too many new things like that's the only new bits but then we're also going to have like things swapping around and stuff so because we've bought the new bed and the new bed is coming i hope next week if not it'll be early the next like the week after but we're selling the bed so yesterday someone said they were going to come pick it up they were all planned ready to go like messaging us to ask if they could come earlier all these things and as soon as i asked about payment and said okay so are you giving me cash or like are we doing bank transfer like i can send you my details he goes oh sorry you're a bit too far actually i thought you were in northampton i was like why would you not ch why would you not check these things if you're buying on Facebook Marketplace, why are you not checking the location of things before you arrange to pick them up? But also, I don't actually fully believe that that is the case. I am a bit wary that he might have been trying to just take the bed. So obviously if I'd have said bank transfer, he very easily could have been like, this is just one thing that I'm really wary of with Facebook Marketplace actually. But like if I said bank transfer me, there's no saying that he would be like, oh yeah, I'll do it now when I get back to the car and then just leave. So I always say to people if they're picking up, I need at least half of it before they come. Um, and then I make them send the rest when they're stood there because that's the only way that it really works. So that's what I did before and it worked really well, especially on like bigger things. But yeah, he never came. So luckily someone else messaged around the same time and they are picking up on Sunday. So they've already paid me, which is amazing and perfect. And I'm so happy because they actually paid me 30 pounds more. I'd actually rather sleep on a mattress on the floor for like a week than have a new bed frame to put together and then a mattress and a bed frame just stood around the house and nowhere for it to go and no one's buying it, etc. That's the biggest annoyance when it comes to selling big furniture and like buying new. So 
I really hope, well, he's already paid, so he's definitely coming, and if not, then I'm quids up and a bed up. I think that's the biggest annoyance when it comes to selling bulky furniture, is having the old bits left around if they haven't sold, or having nothing for a period of time. But it's just one of those things, isn't it? You can't really do anything about it. So I'm glad, if anything, that at least the bed frame is out, and then we're just, yeah, on the mattress on the floor till the bed frame comes. As soon as it comes, we can put it together, put it up, all will be good in the world. And then the bookshelf that I ordered, I think is coming on next Friday, I think it said. So hopefully the two should come quite close together and that will be my next part of the declutter. It was gonna be the bathrooms, because I've already filmed it, but I actually think that one's gonna be later on. I'm gonna move that. So you've already, I don't know if you've seen them yet, but I've been doing like declutter vlogs and like organization vlogs and stuff. So it's, I've called it a journey to more, a journey to a more minimal life because that's what I'm aiming for. I'm not aiming to be a minimalist, but I'm aiming to have less stuff and not be as like, there's just a lot of stuff everywhere. So part one was my wardrobe, part two was like bags and accessories and shoes and whatever. And then part three is the bedroom and part four is the bathroom. And then we're gonna do like the living room and stuff as well, but I really wanna get it all done pre-Christmas. So I'm gonna try and tackle that at some point. I don't know when we're gonna tackle the living room because I could do it today, but I think if I do it, there'll just be even more stuff all over the house and the bed frame's already annoying enough. So I don't think we want to add more to the situation. <laughs> so I think we might just leave that one there for now and not, not tackle that yet. I got new prints up in the second bedroom, which I'll show you today. So I just replaced them because they're normally quite like beachy. So I had like um, a girl, it was like a girl's like shoulders and stuff, but it was through her son, like a straw hat, so it was all like shadowy and like beachy. There was like bikinis hung up on a line, like that kind of thing. So I've replaced those for now with some different prints and then obviously the beachy ones can come back out when the time is right. It just, it felt a bit weird last year looking at beachy pictures when I'm still freezing. So we've changed them up, we've changed them up and they look really cute. And I managed to sneak some Taylor lyrics in there without James realizing until I started singing it at him. <laughs> so that's really fun. I basically just got, two I'll sh when i show you i'll explain but i got some of them on etsy as digital downloads and then got them printed and then i got a couple of them as just like random pictures of pinterest that i liked we missed autumn didn't we i'm not imagining that i keep saying to everyone i feel like autumn just didn't happen and then it went from summer to being really really cold and now the leaves are falling off of trees and i'm like what what is happening i miss having that nice like autumnal period where it's a little bit crisp but quite warm still and you have that nice like you need a coat but you don't really need a coat and it's just nice and cozy we didn't get that we've gone straight to cold i think it's like what temperature region is it it is six degrees cry 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 i don't really have much else to say apart from that i'm cold this week's been really strange so far I plan to be really, really productive and I was meant to be going into London today, but my friend has also got <laughs> this flu thing that's going around. So we've postponed. We're shooting tomorrow, but it's meant to be raining and there's just like so many things that were meant to be happening. And yesterday I was gonna have a full shoot day of like doing stuff at home, but I couldn't because James was unwell and I just thought I'll just do a day of like editing and stuff. And it's just completely thrown off. Like I've got a few bits that I wanna do for the Good Vibes Club. There's gonna be a few new bits coming soon. So I've got the Stanley Cups, which is still on their way. They're not official Stanley, but they are like literally the same cup. Like I have my one and I have a real one and you can't really, I actually don't think you can really tell the difference apart from the branding. So they're gonna be here soon and then I'm gonna be putting them up. I was gonna do pre-order, but I think because I don't know exactly when they're gonna come, I don't wanna risk doing pre-order and then I don't know when they turn up and then they may be late or whatever, especially when we're playing with Christmas now, like I don't wanna do that and then you're disappointed. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as they arrive, I'm gonna have everything ready to go and then we can just pop them straight live. But that's going up, there's something else really, there's two special things launching, like there's two quite exciting things. So I need to just get the website bits like planned and stuff for that, which is kind of what I'm thinking I might do today. Um, because I need to like just plan it all out, schedule it all, sort it all, like basically I'm building my website still and it takes quite a long time and I need to plan out some guest stuff as well. I've got quite a few guests coming on who are in the works, like we've already talked about it, we know they're coming on, like we just need to plan a few bits. So I'm hoping that I should be able to get every single guest 
recorded, done, finished by December. And then I don't have to worry about like having to record and book studios and all that kind of thing in the lead up to Christmas. I can have like a month off basically where all of my episodes are scheduled, all of the content is scheduled, everything's ready to go, everything's good and it's just there because that would make my life so much easier. And then I don't have to worry about it till like January or like mid to late January because something really big is coming in January for me and it's really exciting. I don't want to talk about it just, mm, do I want to talk about it just yet? It's going to be something that you're going to want to know about if you like the law of attraction and manifestation is all I'm going to say. And it's going to be cheap and it's going to be for a month. I feel like I'm just giving it away if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's going to be coming in January. So I want to free up my diary as much as physically possible for that so that I can just get that done. And then it's, yeah, whatever. But I need to finish drinking this and head into the gym. So I'm going to stop talking because the more I talk, the less I drink. The less I drink, the longer I take. And the longer I take, the more I won't be bothered. Here's the gallery wall that you wanted to see. So you can't really see the bottom one very well. I'll move in a second. But up the top there, we've just got a little Pinterest picture of two people dancing. The 222 one, I got on Etsy, I'll leave it linked. The Taylor Swift, this is our place one, also from Etsy, I'll leave it linked. These were both digital downloads and I got them done through Optimal Prints. Um, so you could basically give them any design and they print it out for you. And then this one, I don't know if you can really, oh, you can kind of see this angle. It's really hard because obviously you can see the wardrobes, but it's just two hands and a moon. What a surprise. Back together. <laughs> We're having a little coffee work date with Mr. Buddy Boy down here who suddenly has the biggest sugar rush of his life. Oh. 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 <laughs> the other dogs just completely ignored him. <laughs> But we've plonked ourselves in front of the fire and it's very, very cosy, so very much enjoying it. And I'm wearing my uh, <laughs> my cosy little sweatshirt from San Francisco with the otter on that James keeps saying is a beaver. It's definitely a little otter and it's very, very cute. I feel like this is the kind of jumper that like my mum would have in that cupboard that she picked up in the 90s somewhere and I'm here for it. Do we think James is going to kill me for adding three more cushions back onto the sofa? He already moans that we've got too many and they're really annoying and I've basically filled up every possible space but it looks really cute and cosy and I like it so that's all that matters to be honest. I'm absolutely joking but I really wanted to add back in the white company ones which are these ones because they're really really snuggly and I just think they look cute for autumn winter. To be honest when we get more into winter obviously the pumpkins are going to be coming off and the orangey throw. So this is actually from Amazon like maybe two years ago but I love it it's just a really nice colour. These are from HomeSense, White Company, H&M, um, I don't actually know where that's from, but I think it's H&M, I'm not sure. Those ones are H&M. This one is actually a Christmas one from H&M, but we keep it on the sofa year round backwards, same as this one. And then at Christmas, we just turn them round and then the same here. And then these are from Primark and they're about seven pounds this year. And my sofa, because I get asked all the time, is the Cloud Sunday in warm gray from Snug Sofa. It's got a big storage bit there and a little storage bit here, which if you remember from old vlogs, this used to be my little bookshelf before we sorted that out, which needs resorting because it's full of crap. Likewise, the rest of the room. We're still in decluttering phase. Also normalizing people having mess in their homes because I am sick of seeing people with pristine homes online. It's not everyone, like not everyone has a pristine, perfect home. And I definitely don't have a pristine, perfect home. I have pristine corners that I choose to share. And then other times I have this. And I also have this because James wasn't well for half the week. So the duvet, like our spare duvet has been on the sofa and then he spilled cough syrup all over it. So now it's like a naked duvet. It did have a throw on it, but he got cough syrup all over it. But yeah, let's normalize having a bit of a messy home because sometimes that's just the way life works. We can't have a pristine house all the time. Like we literally have our whole bed frame in the hallway for God's sake. It's not pristine, but I'm gonna get cozy on the sofa with my heated blanket. I'll leave it linked down below. I got a minky one from Amazon and it says it's currently unavailable, but I'll link the gray version down below. And I'll also link a really similar one with unreal reviews that I was actually going to get the only thing was I thought it would be too big, but actually now I wish I had got it because mine's not big enough. So if there's two of you or you like a bigger snuggle, 
recommend because this one's only a single size and it's a little bit too small but it's really good and i really like it it doesn't make the energy bill too expensive but we have not used our heating for more than about an hour maybe two hours on two different occasions but we just haven't turned our heating on yet this year even though it's been cold so highly recommend i'm so obsessed with the colors out the window right now minus my um little tomato plant that looks a bit worse for wear look at these beautiful colors like this tree the fact it's vibrant yellow just makes me so happy in the morning when the sun's coming through also update on this bloomin love it it's best thing ever i think it dries stuff really quickly we put it away really quickly and it's just a dream i'm standing you in the cupboard but i'm gonna have my greens because i haven't yet had them today and i've been trying to really keep up with having them every single day although i have been having them with a little teeny tiny bit of squash just like a reduced sugar squash that james picked up the other day but i find it just tastes marginally nicer when you have that tiny bit of flavour that isn't just greens because they are quite hearty um, but they're not bad I have to admit the mango is really nice I strongly recommend getting your hands on some but let's make this greens up and sit on the sofa I was going to make a coffee but I realised I've had two coffees today and I haven't really had any water and I've had a diet coke because obviously we worked in the coffee shop so I need to make sure I'm getting some greens in I need to actually order some more electrolyte sachets which we get off Amazon. I'll leave them linked because they're really, really fab. They're not that expensive, but they're the best flavoured ones I've ever found. And they really helped me when I had that really bad illness. And me and James like to take them every now and then if we haven't been drinking much water or like if we've been on a night out and had some alcohol and stuff. So I'll leave them linked, but I need to order some of them because I'm trying to make a conscious effort to have at least like one or two a week just to up my protein, not my protein. God, I'm in a different level, but... um just to up my hydration a little bit because we don't want dehydrated bodies around here. And if the doctor said to me that one of the only reasons I survived my little salmonella typhoid drama is because I was hydrated, then who am I to deny my body of hydration when it saw me so nicely through a hellish few weeks? And I've also curbed somehow the illness that James has got because he's got whatever it is that's going round that's like wiping people out he's got that and he is at work at the moment which i think is a really silly idea he's he's wiped out so poor boy is in desperate need of a good day at home he had one day off and then refused because he got so bored so he's gone back to work silly boy <laughs> I decided to start watching Escaping Twin Flames, so we'll see how good this is, but I'm very intrigued. To anyone who's not ready, I'm sorry, but to anyone who is, you'll understand. I don't know why I'm so zoomed in. Let's go back a little bit, but I've got my little coffee on the shelf. <laughs> I'm so, I love mince pies. The Aldi ones are, why am I out of focus again? Love. Thank you. 